first thing I did with the dresser was to remove the hardware. I knew I was going to change that immediately. I covered the holes with some Dixie mat. Next thing I wanted to do to this dresser was sand the top down just a bit. I wanted to use the wood grain but wasn't sure what to do with it yet. Once I was done sanding, it was time to clean. I use Dixie Bell White Lightning Cleaner for this. If you are new here, you will hear me say this a lot. Clean your pieces before you start painting. Just clean it. Like, do a really good clean. appears to be made out of cherry wood and I was afraid of bleed through. To be safe I used Dixie Bell Boss. Give it a good shake, apply it on and let it dry. Boss is a stain blocker and that should prevent any bleeding through from happening. Once that was done, we are ready to paint. For my color, I'm using tea rose. It's such a nice earthy pink. I love this color. Sloan detail brushes for the border on top. I'm planning on making this gold, but I don't want that red wood color underneath. While the first coat was drying, I decided what I wanted to do with the top. A paint wash. A white wash. A white paint wash. <laughs> I will dip my brush into the water and soak it. I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not. I'm using cotton to give this look a whitewash. Spread the watery paint around in sections. 
feels just like I'm lying to you. I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life. I know I'm wasting time. Cause I just wanna call Then wipe it off immediately with a cloth or rug. Tonight. It doesn't have to be so special. I try to be myself. You do the same and we'll be alright. I wanted it a little bit more whitewashed. I'm using a wet towel and adding some more watery paint. I'm basically just doing it again to fill in some more color. measured this time for my hardware like I never do that <laughs> Once my first coat was dry, I wanted to add a little blend of color to the piece. I began by adding the second coat of tea rose on my piece. I wish I didn't have to give into the pressure. Uh oh. Cause I just wanna call my I worked in sections to keep the paint wet. I used some mud puddle, which is a light brown, to add to the borders. I just added mud puddle around the borders of each drawer. This effect will be very soft, which is what I was going for. I did this to every drawer. I liked where this was heading. Now it was time to work on raised stencil. Kathleen said she had some things. I have this Modern Masters bead gel I have never tried out. This should be perfect. Hey. For my colors, I'm using rose quartz and rose gold. You mix the pink. 
paint into this bead gel. The bead gel dries clear and you only have paint color left. It also dries very hard and keeps the metallic sheen. She told me she had met a friend of mine. I mix two colors of metallic pink to give my stencil some depth. Oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> Here is the stencil I used. All the colors are long gone. adding my bead gel on like any raised stencil. Na, 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 na. I switched between colors randomly. Kathleen said she had some things of mine. I just made sure to get a little bit of my softer pink color every now and then. She told me she had met a friend of mine And told me was the best thing that ever happened Na 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 All the colors are long gone Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Like, really gorgeous. Make sure to clean your stencil immediately and clean it outside. Do not clean this in your house. It's bad for the pipes. You're welcome. Duke was having the time of his life as usual. Like, no matter what we do, Duke is having the best time of his life and that's why I love him so much. I'm going to have to let that half dry before I do the second part. Na, 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 na. To store the bead gel, I used packages that I can cover. This should keep it safe while our stencil dries. I added the other half a few hours later. with this effect. Time to put the drawers back on and see how it looks. Take the top, I decided to go with my Chippy Barn hemp oil. I love this stuff and it smells great too. Just work it into your wood with a lint-free cloth. Kathleen said she had some things of mine. Next, it was time for some wax. I used Easy Peasy Spray Wax. She told me she had met a I love this stuff. Just spray it on and wipe it off. And Tommy was the best. Super fast and super durable. I 
can add my new hardware on the dresser. I kept saying wow and oh my god a whole time I was working on this dresser and I just love it. I swear I love this space so much. Now it was time for the final touch. Gold, of course gold. <laughs> I'm using my PBO King Gold Gilding Wax I'm using my gold gilding wax and my finger to get some on the borders I even gilded the feet in gold. I get some bands and I get some bands and my little baby. Yeah. I get some bands and I get some bands and my little baby. Yeah. It's not tricking if she's your so no I'm spending. Yeah. If I got it, then she got it. Tell her spending. Yeah. What I own and know she owns enough and rent it. Yeah. If I'm dipping, tell her side. It's no question she gon' ride. Tell her count it up. Make sure it's all there. We were down and not. It's gonna be all yeah. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. And I couldn't believe the transformation. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. Yeah. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. Yeah. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. Yeah. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. Yeah. There is some pieces that we do for profit. There is some pieces that we do to play around. There is some pieces that we practice on. But then there is some pieces where we just pour our heart into them. And this piece was definitely one of those projects where I gave it all. Like I went big and I'm so glad I did. I went out of my comfort zone, I experimented and this was the results and I'm so glad I did. I absolutely, absolutely love this dresser. Everything about it is so gorgeous. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next Friday. Bye!